Hey guys, it's Brian Tong from CNET.com and we know it's a day before the actual release of the iPhone 3G and also the official release of the firmware here in the United States, but you guys can get your hands on it because it's been leaked. Now we got to give credit to our friends at MacRumors.com for doing the digging, but to make it easier for you, we posted the link to get the firmware file on our blog at blog.cnettv.com. So here's what you need to get started. The first thing is you guys got to go and get iTunes 7.7. .7. It's an update that's available for free. Go to the website or update it through iTunes and that's the first step. Now the second thing is you want to click on the link in our blog and actually download the firmware file. Now the name of the file will start with this. It's a long name but it starts with iPhone 1 comma 2 and it keeps on going but what happens is that file that you're going to download it ends with a .zip extension typically. Now, if it does, you're going to want to change the last few characters of that file to actually say .ipsw. So you're going to need to do that manually. First things first, let's connect our iPhone to our computer and let it sync to iTunes. And once it does that, you're going to want to click on the Summary tab. It has all the information about the iPhone. And look for the button that says Check for Update. Now, in order for us to update the firmware, we're going to have to manually do this. So on your Mac, you're going to want to hold your Option key and then click on Check for Update. It'll ask you to find the file that we just downloaded with the last four characters, IPSW. So select that, let iTunes do its thing. It's going to take some time to update the firmware, but once it's done, you have an iPhone with the latest 2.0 firmware. It has the app store, so you guys can go crazy. So there you go. It's the insider secret of how to get access to the firmware 2.0 early from Apple. I'm Brian Tong for CNET.com.